The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude, good fucking wine. Yeah. No Luzi energy drink. Yeah, it's that good. Because it was something to distract me while I was home from school, not going to school. Mm. Um, so I started watching wrestling, and um, you know, he started taking my the whole family to shows. We all went. Uh, my sister, my brother, my mother, even uh, my mother was a big heckler, and uh, you know, then we we got he knew promoters. He knew Dennis Carluzzo very well, okay. so um, you know they were like best friends. Him, he knew Gino Moore, who was a, another a, a promoter who was around the NWA. Um, so we joined a fan club early on, uh, and you know I was a heckler in in the audience. I always got front row, and I was a big giant heckler. So I would you know really taunt the boys when they came out to the point where it would be disturbing because I had a really big mouth and I it was like I was stealing the show I guess mm. so um, you know I, I got a lot of attention like that as as a fan I guess um, it, it, we joined a fan club that went like it was wrestling radio fan club run by Joel Goodhart which was the original like a you know TWA the original ECW if you want to call it that okay um, he had a radio show at the time and a fan club that would travel all across the country we went as far as like we went to Virginia for like Starcades and for for the NWA and, and as far as like Memphis for USWA wrestling uh, in Barnes and stuff like that uh, you know we did a whole Tennessee tour and this was in in 1988, I was 13 years old. 13. 13 years old. Okay. So, um, I'm sorry. In, in, yeah, in in Richmond, actually, the Richmond Starcade, uh, my friend Jack always reminds me, it was November of 1987. So, technically, I was 12 years old, I mm. guess. Okay. Uh, so, I was traveling uh, around, and, you know, and meeting people after shows and everything because we were a group. So, you know, we met a lot of wrestlers at luncheons and, and dinners and stuff like that that the, the wrestling radio would hold for, for these particular guys, you know, whoever they were. Um, so, uh, it, w with the fan club, it came like, you know, I, me and my sister would go to the, the host who was uh, Carmela Panfield. She was a woman the female host and uh we would go to her house on the weekend with and all the independent wrestlers and anyone from the local schools like monster factory and dominic danucci school and wherever would go to her house so and anyone who was on a show at the time now we're talking in the 80s right uh you know right. the 88 now them mm -hmm. like 13 years old and the the first encounter that was negative that I had had was a, around her group. Um, Dominic Danucci had wanted to train me and my sister to work for him. He was uh, training uh, Shane Douglas at the time. Okay. And Mick Foley was up there with him. So he wanted to train me and my sister. And I had an incident with him in her basement that she witnessed and kind of turned the blind eye to uh you know he he grabbed me and and it, like mauled my face and was kissing me and and told me if, if i could use language I, i'm not sure what kind of language Absolutely. i can but he took me by the back of my head and forced it between his legs and said look at my dick you know and i i was kind of horrified by it, but it, Car it, you know carmela came in and she said, you know, what's going on? And he brushed it off like it was nothing. But it kind of like it discouraged me to want to be trained by him. 
I would think so. Uh, can, I, can I can I stop I you there think, one I second? So. 